guys the last couple of days I've found what I think could be the best train wreck of a cooking channel on YouTube I've ever seen. I watched her make one dish which was a sunshine salad. It was such a train wreck I had to subscribe to her channel and watch many many more cooking videos from this woman. Her name is Betty. She's a cooking channel. I mean, God love her. She gives it everything. She's very instructive. Um, very detailed. And she's just a mum having a crack. I can't stop watching it. I can't stop commentating while I'm watching it. And I invite you now to uh, sit along as we watch her make uh, Betty's Italian Sausage Subs. I'll spin this around and you can have a look, eh? There she is, oh Betty. She's always nicely dressed, like she's going out to a cocktail there or something when she's cooking. Look what she's wearing. Hi, Look. I'm Betty. Welcome to Hi, Betty's Betty. Kitchen. Today we're making Italian sausage sub. Mm. And we start with Italian sausage, and I decided to go ahead and. You have a look at these fucking sausages. Look at this. Explain what I've used here. Oh, I they look like dog turds. Italian sausage <laughs> that was packaged like this. Fuck's sake. And this is the mild <sighs> Italian. You can also get the hot if you like that. This is one pound and two ounces, or altogether 18 ounces in one package. I decided to use two packages like this, and I split them in thirds. Now, there is a skin on each one, so you have to peel that off before you start processing it. <sighs> but my thirds ended up looking like this after they were brown. Does not look I didn't just add horrendous. Any oil. I didn't add any water. I just put the pieces of sausage in the skillet and I tended to them so that I could continually turn them and let them brown up on all sides and in the meantime they were cooking through to the center. Hmm. So now I'm going to lift the sausage out and set it in a bowl here. We'll come back to put oh, those on our sandwiches. Fuck, look how burnt that is. Look at that. Look like burnt little dog turds. That is like a strainer. It will help you to keep the oil back in. Something like a strainer. What, you mean like, well, something like a strainer. What, a strainer? And a lot of people would immediately use that oil oh. to continue uh, with the rest of the recipe where... Um, we're going to be softening some vegetables, but I don't like for it to be that greasy. So I have a little cup here that I'm going to pour the excess grease off. But I want to keep all of that wonderful flavor that is in the fond yeah, good that is left in the bottom of the skillet, but leaving all of this. So now what we can do is deglaze the skillet. Now look. With some water. You can't deglaze on a cold pan. That's not what deglazing is about. She's got the right idea here, doing that. But that needs to be done on a hot pan. For you to saute your vegetables in. So the heat of the water, that, or the wine, or whatever you deglaze, that doesn't have it all immediately it softens the fond. You look at this now. Green pepper, bell pepper. Chops. Bloody hell, they call them peppers. Oh. Mine was a little on the small side, but I would suggest a large. Oh, she's wasted her time top. cutting all this up and, and putting it in bags so she can empty it into a bag the into the frying pan. Um, I don't need to use it. Uh, probably you'll want one large onion chopped unless you want to go light on the vegetables. And then I have one clove of garlic. Look, one clove of garlic. Chopped very finely. Very finely. It's the same size as the damn onions, mate. That cunt's not very so finely. That's thick. In Big fat dice, mate. Your deglazed pan. Now she's going to fry that in water. Take that back to the stove. Oh, I have no idea. What do you mean? Softened. Cook until it's softened. We'll come back. Now, we're going to 
<laughs> she did say. I'm not sure uh, what I have. Well, I have sauteing the vegetables. I did add another quarter cup of water because this dried out pretty soon. Dried and, out pretty um, soon, she says. Sticking, even this dried out pretty soon. Get all of the I didn't want it sticking, so I put more water in there. On the bottom and sides. And it helps when it sticks. Now, that burnt sausage you had in there, that water's going to be uh, fucking bitter as hell. Look at all the grit. Now we're going to add jarred spaghetti sauce or Italian sauce. And this happens to be Newman's own. I usually use Prego. Newman's own. It's just up to you. Everybody has their favorite. Uh, it doesn't have to be any particular flavor. This is tomato and basil, flavor, flavor. Uh, which is fine. Uh, but yours might be uh, traditional or meat flavored. Or meat flavored. Four ounce uh, jar. Uh, Put that in with the sauce. Put that in with the sauce. That is the fucking sauce. What do you mean? And, and can we just say meat flavored that. fucking tom tomato so paste? What do you mean? One teaspoon Look. of dry basil. Basil. One teaspoon of dry oregano. Oregano. You should have fried that off with the fucking onions and the big chunky garlic. Release the, the flavours in it, probably. Oh, Jiminy's. Look at the blackness she's mixing into that. Oh, fucking delicious. <laughs> fucking old Betty. She's having a crack with her pretty fucking... At least she's got nice fingernails. And, and that's our polish. complete sauce. So mm. we have our sausages cooked and browned. <sighs> we have our sauce. And right here I have sliced mozzarella cheese. This is very thinly sliced. So if you have to... See, I'll it, finger all the cheese. For them to slice touch it, it with me dirty hands. You, you can get it. Oh, look, I'm touching another couple of slices uh, of dirty cheese with me dirty fingers. Some submarine buns. What the fuck is a submarine uh, bun? I've never heard of a submarine bun. You can use... Um, Brought buns, if you like. Brought buns. Put two you can here. use brought I buns if you want. To baking dish because when I separate these into individual sub buns, uh, I'm going to need to open that with a knife, and when I open it, it will lay out and take up half the pan, and then likewise on this one. So I'm going to take a slight break and. Get a knife and open those. She and comes back and. Continue and putting together. Oh, here she is. She's dancing. You can see that I've opened one of the buns. <laughs> like a fucking. Oh, like a ruin of headlight. Look at this knife she's way. got. Oh, fingers. Fuck. Grab it at the top. And just you watch it. this. Look. It. She can't cut it. So, she wiggles the fucking bread on the knife. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, look how thick and dense that bread is. Oh, heartburn central. Is place some sausages on there. And I'm trying to keep everything equalized so that we equalized. need exactly what is here and don't need more and don't have a lot left over. Yes, that's what you want to do. Uh, Utilize there are 30 it exactly. Of the pieces of sausage. 30 sausages. And the buns in this bag, there were six. Six whole buns. buns. So that means. 30 sausages and six buns. So that means. That's correct. Five sausages per bun. That's what that means. I had to pause there real quick because she really struggles to figure this out. And the way that she gets here is uh anyway what about telling you i'll watch this with what i have here um i'm using a third of the buns using two whole buns so i need to use a third of the 30 which would be 10 so five on each so oh what a way to get there you can just now look she puts her little burnt dog turds you can adjust that if you want to they look have terrible to. If you were going to make a, an Italian sausage sub, you wouldn't even worry about cutting them up. You just have the whole sausages there, put it on top of your bread, yeah, put a bit of sauce on it, put a bit of cheese over it, melt it in the oven, done and dusted. For each person, but since I only have the six buns to work with, I have a lot of materials oh. 
to put on them. A lot of materials to put on them, she says. And you could serve these open faced and just consider a hat is a serving. After you have the sausage on, then you're going to put some of your sauce and try to keep it in proportion so you'll have enough to do all that you want. So we're just spreading sauce. Look at that bit of bun there, she's putting that on two bits of sausages. The one behind's got back on three on it. And See, the sauce is amazing. You can cover up any uh, mistake with the sauce. Like, no one will even see that they're burnt. And, uh, things will run together, so don't worry too much about perfection. That sauce is so red on this video compared to what it looks like on the TV. Holy. So after you get a certain amount of sauce oh, on. A certain amount of sauce. Then you can put your cheese sauces on. Again, try to look ahead and see how much more cheese you need. And don't eat it up on the first go around. Well, why wouldn't you just buy enough cheese and if you know what you're doing? Buy a slice cheese. for each one or whatever. So I'm going to just do Look. then three down the center and we'll do a couple more. Fuck it all. If you're not going to have a heart attack from the thick bread. Look at this. How much cheese she's putting on there. And you'll want to cover that over with a small layer. More sauce. Why? What the heck? She goes, you want to think ahead and make sure you've got enough sauce? And she's just about used it all on here. On these four little piggies. And for now, Good I'm just Lord. doing these two for demonstration purposes. But um, I will eventually do the rest in the same manner. Oh, thanks for telling us, Betty. And these are Good ready to look. go to a 400 degree oven. And it only takes five to ten minutes. The right, deer and headlights. Sausage subs are out of the oven, and they're hot right now, and that's when you want to serve them. And they did take uh, probably ten to twelve minutes. It just depends on how brown and bubbly you want them. They did take so probably ten to twelve. Come out a little early. Yes or no? But I'm going to uh, take a spatula that's long. Yeah, something like this. A spatula that's long. To go all the way under. She didn't grease that fucking tray up, but it's stuck everywhere. Look. Oh, just peel that up. What the and heck? Bring it onto a serving plate. And that mozzarella cheese is stringing like that, like you expect. So one person gets that one's got two bits of sausage on it. The next person gets one's got three bits of sausage on it. What the heck? So that's the look of the dish. We look at the fucking herb today. she's got on that plate. The look at that. Sausage. Just stuff. a fucking slab of parsley. Here's yeah. my favorite drink, regardless of what I'm testing. This is iced tea. And uh, I decided to do the open face version for me because then I love it. And also it's a little easier for me to just use my fork and knife cut down through this to make sure I get some of everything, which means some Oh, we should put that whole cheese, sauce. bouquet garni there with parsley in her mouth. Crikey, that's a lot of parsley. Why would you put all that on your plate? Come on, pick up your crusty old fucking damper. <laughs> I hate watching people eat. Look at the veins popping in the fucking head. Mm. She, mm, she reckon... Is it good, Mary? Very big bite. Mm hmm. Is it good? Come on. Everything tastes great. Oh, it's fantastic. It tastes great. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh. That bread is a little hard for me to cut through. I oh, know, right? I took a big piece of it in my mouth. Um, but the fact is. Drink some of your favourite drink. Crunchy Quick. and crispy. It was that done. But not burn or anything. It's just uh, very nice. <laughs> not burn or anything. Not like the sausages. Uh, and I love the sauce. Tastes great. 
Love the mozzarella cheese. The sausage was great. So the sausage is great. I don't know if you can beat this in terms of a quick to fix sandwich type deal that is a sandwich type and deal into the casserole um, venue, but not quite casserole venue. Casserole venue. Look. Now that does look good, but I mean, fair income. Fucking hell, there's easy ways to skin a cat. What is going on with all that parsley? I can't get over the parsley on the plate. Oh my god. So, there you go, that's Be Betty's. What the fuck is this thing called? Hang on. Betty's Kitchen or some shit, hang on. Betty's Kitchen. That's Betty's Kitchen. You'll find her on uh, YouTube, mate. Go and give her a, a fucking... Go and sub to her, mate. It's glorious. It's like a car accident. A car accident in the kitchen. You can't stop watching. Oh, she's fantastic. Hey, I'm the bear. Uh, that's my lounge room review. Betty's Kitchen with her fucking burnt sausage Italian subs on her bread that's not burnt. But it is a little bit thick, she says. Bye.